Well, it looks like you decided to relocate to Fairfax County, Virginia. While this is exciting news, you may not know where to start your search for a new home in the area. You clicked on the right video because in the next 15 minutes, you'll learn about five of the top subdivisions to live in Fairfax County. You'll learn where these top suburbs are located, the median home sales price, commute times to the major job centers, public school options, and what to do in the area. In order to do that, I'll share with you some of the information found on Niche, Best Places, GreatSchools.org, and the local MLS. Watch until the end of this video to learn about my favorite subdivision on this list. Now let's start the show. Hi, my name is Abraham Walker, your Fairfax County YouTube real estate agent, where I do the research so you don't have to. I've been selling real estate since 2008 and use videos to explain the ins and outs of relocating to Fairfax County. Since I release videos every week, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Honestly, my team and I, we are getting calls every single week from folks just like you looking in Fairfax County, Virginia. And so if you're thinking about moving or relocating anywhere in the Fairfax County area, use the description to fill out your perfect home questionnaire. We will meet online and you can ask me anything you want about Fairfax County. Enough about me. What are the best suburbs to live in Fairfax County? Starting with number five, we have Wakefield, which is 23 miles to the west of the White House. It's a small suburban neighborhood of single family detached homes. Most of the homes were built in the area were built between the 50s and 70s. But more recently, we're seeing some larger new construction because of teardowns. The median sales price in Wakefield at the time of this video was $627,000. At that point, you're probably looking at purchasing a two level Rambler or split level with three bedrooms and two and a half baths with either a single car garage or carport. If you like grass, you will love the fact that most of the homes sit on a minimum of a quarter acre lot, which are considered to be substantial size by Fairfax County standards. Although the homes are older, many of them have had extensive renovations and updates. Larger renovated homes sell for upwards of $800,000, while those new construction teardowns I mentioned earlier can go for over $1.4 million. Driving into DC from Wakeville could take between 40 to 60 minutes during rush hour traffic in the mornings. The return trip could take up to 70 minutes around 5 p.m. If you're commuting to other areas like Tice's Corner, you can expect to spend about 25 to 40 minutes in traffic in the mornings and 30 to 45 minutes in the evening. Traveling to Dulles Tech Corridor can take up to 50 minutes in the morning and up to an hour around 5 p.m. You're five miles south of the Dunloring Merrifield Orange Line Metro Station. Niche.com gives the public schools in Wakefield an overall A plus grade. The schools serving the community include Wakefield Forest, Frost Middle, and Woodson High School. Each of these schools has pretty good ratings on grade schools with either a seven or eight out of 10 overall rating. Woodson High School is consistently rated as a top high school in the state of Virginia by US News. As of the recording of this video, it's rated as the number six out of 332 high schools in the entire state. Well, my favorite thing to do around this area is eat. Wakefield is located in Annandale, and Annandale is known for some of the best Asian restaurants in the DC metro area. You'll have your pick from an array of Chinese, Korean, and Japanese restaurants. If you're looking for shopping options, head 10 minutes north to Merrifield Town Center. There you'll find stores like Hobby Lobby and Target. As a bonus, if you're into nature, you'll love Hidden Oaks Nature Center. It has relaxing ponds and several marked nature trails. My kids and I especially enjoy splashing around in the creek. Number four on the list is Mantua. Mantua is a collection of 19 subdivisions connected to the Mantua Citizens Association. With more than 1,500 single family homes, Mantua is located off Route 50, about 16 miles west of Washington, D.C. A majority of the neighborhood was developed between the 50s and late 70s. However, more recently, there have been a number of upscale homes built in the area. 
Coming in at $731,000, Mantua has the highest median sales price on our list. Again, single family detached homes are the only property type found in this area. At $750,000, you can purchase a two level, 3,000 square foot Rambler with four bedrooms and two and a half baths. Homes in the area can go up to 1.5 million if you're interested in larger homes or new construction. The commute time to Washington, D.C. from Mantua is usually between 60 and 75 minutes when you take I-66 and 50 to 60 minutes to the Pentagon depending on the route taken. The return trip from both D.C. and the Pentagon can easily take at least 75 minutes during evening rush hour traffic. Niche.com gives the public schools in Mantua community an a rating for good reasons. Mantua students will attend Mantua Elementary, Frost Middle, and Woodson High School. According to grade schools, Mantua Elementary gets a nine out of 10, while Frost Middle is rated eight out of 10. And Woodson High is awesome, like I already mentioned earlier in this video. One of the perks of owning a home in Mantua is the ability to join the Mantua Swim and Tennis Club. Only residents of Mantua are allowed to join this extensive club. Other than the club, there's really not much else to do near Mantua. You'll definitely need a car because simple errands will require a short drive. But once you're in your car, you're not far from Cinema Arts Theater, Army Navy Country Club, and the Mosaic District where you can spend hours shopping and dining. Number three on our list is located further west from Mantua in a section of Oak Hill called McNair. This community is 28 miles from northwest of the capital and almost shares a border with Dulles International Airport. With 20,000 residents, McNair is roughly the same size as my favorite community I'll be sharing with you at the end of this video. McNair is an unincorporated community within the greater Herndon region. Herndon is part of the Dulles Technology Corridor, which Fortune Magazine named the Netplex. It's called the Netplex because of the location of headquarters for AOL, Exo Communications, K-12, Verizon Business, and Network Solutions. Other major employers in the area include Fannie Mae, Booz Allen, and Amazon Web Services. McNair is the most affordable subdivision on our list. Consider this, Mantua and Oak Hill have median sales prices above $600,000. However, in McNair, homes have a median sales price of just $421,000. While there are a few condos to choose from, the area is made of mostly townhouses. At this price point, you can expect to get a townhouse that was developed in the late 90s with three levels, three bedrooms, and a minimum of two and a half bathrooms. Most people living in this area are commuting locally to the Dulles Tech Corridor or Tyson's Corner. Expect the commute to take between five to 10 minutes to or from the Dulles Tech Corridor. As for Tyson's, on a good day, you should budget between 20 to 30 minutes during rush hour in the morning and 25 to 40 minutes around 5 p.m. The drive time to DC during rush hour from McNair will be a bit longer. You'll likely face a 60 to 75 minute commute in the mornings and a 75 to 90 minute drive back home in the evenings. If you're looking to use the Metro, the Silver Line will have a new stop in 2021 next to Dulles Airport. Until that stop is open, the next closest stop is on the Vienna Metro Station off Route 66. The public schools in McNair are rated an A overall on niche. There are two elementary schools, McNair and Coates, that feed into Carson Middle, which feeds into Westfield High School. If you choose to live in McNair, you'll be deep into a suburban sprawl. With that being said, it has more than enough shopping and dining options for day-to-day -day use. It's just a few short minutes from downtown Herndon, which offers even more dining variety variety and entertainment. And if you take a quick 10 minute drive to the south, you'll hit Fair Oaks Mall, the major shopping center in the area. Outdoor and fitness enthusiasts will enjoy being able to quickly access the Washington and Old Dominion Railroad Trail, which is a 45 mile long paved trail. There's even something nearby for my theater lovers at the Next Stop Theater, which is a professional black box theater that showcases a wide array of local talent and Broadway headliners. Let's pause on the list for a quick minute. I want to know, have you ever lived in Fairfax County? 
If so, comment down below with Nova. While you're at it, let me know where in Fairfax County you live and what you like most about that area. If you're relocating to the area, don't forget to fill out your perfect home questionnaire by using the link in the description. Now let's get back to the video. Coming in at number two is a subdivision located 7.5 miles to the east of McNair called Oakton. The population in Oakton is about twice the size of McNair with just over 37,000 residents. In Oakton, you'll find every type of housing option, including condos, townhouses, and single family homes. The median sales price in Oakton is $616,000. With so much variety in housing types, the median price doesn't really tell the full story. Let's look at it like this. You can find a one bedroom condo for as little as $225,000, or an expansive luxury estate for upwards of $5 million. But if you're staying around the median sales price, you could easily find a three bedroom townhouse in the low sixes. This is how crazy traffic is in this area. Oakton is only 7.5 miles from McNair and you shave almost 30 minutes from your commute to DC around the Capitol Hill area. You're looking at a 40 to 60 minute drive in the morning and an hour plus coming back in the evening. It should take between 10 to 30 minutes driving to Tyson's Corner around 8 a.m. and between 15 and 40 minutes returning home during rush hour traffic. Niche.com rates the public schools in Oakton an overall A grade, which is not at all surprising. Oakton High School is one of the top 15 high schools in Virginia, according to US News. And Oakton Elementary has an eight out of 10 rating by grade schools. While it's a bit outside the city, you'll have no problem finding things to do to keep you busy around Oakton. You can work on your short range game at Oakmar Golf Course, a challenging par three course with excellent greens. On Wednesdays, you can check out the Oakmar Farmer's Market, which is one of the 10 farmer's markets in the area operated under Fairfax County Park authorities. As with most of Northern Virginia, you'll find lots of stores and restaurants within a short drive around the community. Okay, I'm glad you made it to the end because I get to share with you my favorite subdivision on this list, Franklin Farm. Franklin Farm is 20 miles west of the White House and approximately eight miles from Dulles International Airport. Since it's right down the road from McNair, the location has the same benefits and features. The median sales price in Franklin Farm is $618,000. Single family homes in the area include Ramblers, Split Level, and Colonials, mostly built in the 80s. One of the reasons why Franklin Farm is my favorite subdivision on this list is the Homeowners Association. Now I know some people don't like HOAs, but it's hard to pass up the amenities offered in this one location. Those amenities include tennis courts, tot lots, fishing ponds, 13 miles of trails, three multi-purpose courts, and a sand volleyball court. Plus, being a member of the Franklin Farm Foundation, the name of the HOA, gives you the opportunity to purchase a pool membership every year. We won't have to spend much time on your commute time or things to do because Franklin Farm is located so close to McNair. Just rewind this video to the McNair commute time and things to do section for a quick refresher. Niche.com gives the public schools in Franklin Farm an overall A plus grade. Oak Hill and Crossfield are the elementary schools that service the Franklin Farm neighborhood. Those elementary schools feed into Carson and Franklin Middle School, which feed into Oakton and Chantilly High School. The exact school will be determined by your home address. So it's best to find a home and then research exactly what school that property is zoned for. Keep in mind, Chantilly and Oakton High Schools are are both rated amongst the top high schools in the state. So Abraham, tell me the next step to relocate into Fairfax County. Let's meet on Zoom. Whether you're a year out or need to move this month, the next step is to fill out your perfect home questionnaire in the link below. In the perfect home questionnaire, you will paint a picture for me of what you want in a perfect home and community. After you share your favorite snack with me, you click the submit button and an email will be sent to you with a link to book a consultation call with me via Zoom. We will get to meet online and you can ask me anything you want about Fairfax County. 
Then we will narrow down some great areas for you. And when you are ready, we will help you find the perfect home for your family. So go ahead and don't be shy. The link is below in the description. I look forward to meeting you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.